We are live on Thursday night. I'm changing it up because tomorrow night I won't be here on Friday night. So I'm going to do a video here. I'm going to try to do randoms. Now that it is football season, Friday night seemed to be a little dead. So I am just going to do a very quick makeup look tonight. Try out some of our new shadows that we're releasing. So we're just going to do some quick makeup. Just some easy, fun, quick makeup. So, I think we're going to use the 3D brush tonight. And let's just get started. So, I'm going to use the color. Um, I think I'll use the color wheat, which is this one right here. This is my normal color, which is sandy. This is wheat, and this is amber. So, I kind of go in between these three. But I think I'm going to go in this middle one. It's a little more yellow, but I'm kind of feeling yellow today. And I'm just going to start with my main shade. I'm just going to pop it on, on my face. The places that I'm going to contour, I'll leave blank. So that's all over my face. Just took a few minutes. I'm going to use this color Ash as a contour. And I kind of pinched it together. And then I will just kind of put it right here. And I'll kind of blend it as I go. Because you can do that. Sometimes I don't blend it as I go. And sometimes I do. There's no wrong way. You can even see where my little small dent is. It'd be bigger if I had a thinner face, but it's just not, it's just a little round. So I try to make it a little more carved out. And then I'm just going to do just a little contour of my forehead. Nothing crazy. I don't feel like I'm getting tons on my brush. There we go. I was just barely touching into my... The contour consistency is just a little bit different because it is um, the... Highlight colors are a little more creamy, and they are really um, easy to to barely touch. But the contour, sometimes you have to rub just a little bit firmer to get it on your brush the way um, the way you need it to show up. And I'm just kind of barely going along the sides of my nose under my lip. I cannot believe that I took, again, four minutes to record a reel. You know, I did my makeup in it. I did my entire makeup routine in the four minutes. It was one where you don't have to have a color match, but that you can, um, you know, just buy the product without needing a match because the colors would work for everyone. And, I mean, I really, I just popped it down in four minutes, and guess what? No. The Instagram powers that be said, not today. So I'll do it later. Okay, now I'm going to blend all this. Again, light contour, just a little shadow. And as you saw my face before, discolorations, freckling. I don't mind my freckling show and through, but I like for my skin tone to kind of be a little more even. And this is super natural and glowy. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a brightener and I'm going to use 
Um, I think I'm going to brighten with my normal, which is Aura. And I'm just going to pop it. Nothing fancy crazy wise. Just on a few places down the center of my face. And what I love about this makeup, so this is a huge palette that I have because I have all the colors. When you're an artist, you have all the colors so that way you can match people in person or do makeovers. But for you at home that might want this, you would want a palette about this size so you can throw it in your purse and go. Grab you a brush and a palette and you've got your powder in there, you've got your eyeshadows in there, you can have eyeliners in there, your lip and cheeks in there. Got it all. And even though this is a big old palette, I've not put it down. You know, I just, I'm using the same brush for as much as I possibly can. And I just have everything here at my fingertips in one, one palette. That's what makes it quick and it saves time. You're not all the time hunting on stuff. The only thing that takes the time is when you have to actually decide what color do you want to wear? What are you going to do today? What look when you've got a lot to choose from? It can be overwhelming. But that's not necessarily a bad problem to have. Now, is it? That's one of your third world problems. What am I going to wear today? There we go. I'm going to use this right here to even bronze with. So, oh, where's my bronzer at? I think I moved, oh, I moved it to this other palette that I did a reel with a while ago. So, here's my bronzer and an illuminator. So, I'm going to use these together. So, first I'm going to go in. I'm going to... I usually don't do this, but I'm going to go ahead and illuminate. This is the rose gold. I don't know if you can see that, but it puts such a pretty sheen. Because it's a cream. And then since it is a cream, it does not set in your lines. Oh, it's so pretty. And this is the perfumed. So it smells good. So look at that little pop. And then I like to do it right down my nose. But I just barely touch in it. So now that we've got that. Look at that. Woo! Shining. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a bronzer. This was the reel that I did while ago of this makeup. Because none of this requires a color match. And you can do your whole face without a color match. But I'm going to do that reel at some point. But I'm going to bronze. And I'm just going to kind of bronze right kind of over where I contoured. All this is doing is kind of warming up that contour. The contour gives you a shadow and this kind of gives you a little bit of that sun-kissed look. And there's really no um, coverage in this. It's sheer. So it just adds a little bit of that summer glow. Which I think we need all year long. I'm one of, I am one of those kind that will wear bronzers <laughs> all the time. If I wanted to, I could bronze my neck even a little bit. I really like to usually use my fluffy brush when I bronze hair. But you can do it with any brush. See how that is? It blends right out. And I just barely touch in it too. And so now let's do a quick lip and cheek. We'll throw on some eyeballs and we'll be done. So for my lips, let's do, hmm. We'll do this color right here, this saffron. It's crazy red. Look at that. So pretty though. I'm not, again, I'm not even, I've not put this down yet and I'm not even cleaning it off. I'll just swap back and forth between both sides. Um, I'm going to barely touch it on there because you can control how much pigment for the color. But it's really a, just a pretty flush when you just barely do it. Because if I put it on my if I put it on my lips, it would be this red probably. But I'm just kind of barely touching. 
That is so pretty. Okay. Um, and so actually for my lips, I think I'm going to use this color Royal. It's just kind of a glossy stain. It's this color. And so with that, now we're going to move over to the eyes. And what I'll start with is I'm going to go ahead and just set first my um, eyeshadow. I've got too many palettes around here. I do different looks and stuff. I'm just going to swap. This is my beauty sponge, my perfector sponge. And I'm just going to kind of set just my T-zone. I mean, this also pops in the palette. Everything you've got will fit in there. Like this is the eye, this is my um, setting powder. This is a little br brush cleaning tile, like when you go between your um, eyeshadows. Here's some eyeshadows. And then on the other side, you can put your creams and stuff in there. It's everything you need right in there. Throw and go. I'm just gonna pounce around. Okay, now let's do a quick eyeball. They're pretty, they are so pretty. This is just some of them. I'm using the eyeshadow brush, going into the color butterscotch, maybe. Yeah, butterscotch. And I'm just kind of go back and forth. And then I'm going to go in with the Angel's Landing, which is this really pretty gold. It's kind of a foil. I think it may have been like called gold in, on the advent calendar. And I'm just going to pop that on my lids. I'm also going to go in, I think, and use this drift right in the corner. If you use your finger, you'll get more pop. But I just want a little bit. And I'm going to pop this also right there on my brow bone. And then now I'm going to go in and use this cranberry. It's also a shimmer. But you can, you know, you can put shimmers in the us older folk, we can wear the shimmers. I think I'm going to go in just with a little bit of that snowbird because I want a little bit darker. I want a darker pop. But not a lot. Oh, I could be use this color too because it's really pretty. Moscow. I don't know who would ca call a color Moscow, but we sure did. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is Snowbird. And I'm going to just pop it right here on the outer corner just to kind of deepen that. All right, that's easy enough right there. That's an easy eye look. I don't even have to put any eye um, mascara on because I already had it on. So that's it right there, fellas. In a nutshell, my face, I'm not even sure how long I've been on because I wasn't paying any attention, wasn't planning on it. But if you need a color match, I'm your girl. This is Saint Beauty. And so it's super easy. I can give you a compact. I can tell you exactly what you need. All you have to do is just send me a picture with no makeup on, and I can do the rest. The rest is history. I will do the work for you. Let me know if you want a color match, and I really appreciate you watching.